These little stickers seem to be one of the latest rages these days. I'm Frugal Tesla Guy, and I'm going to tell you why. If you're at all like me, you'll find any excuse to play with a new gadget. Now, as a Tesla Model 3 owner, you really have no choice but to embrace modern technology. My smartphone is a powerful tool for my car and practically does everything I need through either the native Tesla app or my favorite, Stats app. Now, to make things even more convenient, rather than waiting for the app to open and load, I just swipe to the widgets and perform some of the more popular tasks. But who wants to wake up their phone, sign in, and then swipe over to widgets? I've got better things to do with my time. That's where this comes in. This is an NFC tag, short for Near Field Communication. Now, it's a sticker with a microchip in it that stores information that can be sent to a smartphone with an NFC reader to perform different tasks. And no battery is required either. So, what can it do, you ask? Well, how about this? So the next question is, what's the point? Well, that's the beauty of technology. Sometimes it's up to us as the consumers to help answer that question. Now, some would argue, as I alluded to earlier, that it can reduce the amount of steps you need to take to perform a simple task. For example, if I want to open the frunk, normally I would have to unlock my phone, swipe over to widgets, and then tap the frunk button in Stats app. However, with an NFC tag, all I have to do is unlock the phone and then place it over the NFC tag programmed to open the frunk, and it's as simple as that. So let's show you just how easy it is to program an NFC tag to an iPhone. Now keep in mind, this only works for X, S, and above. The iPhone 6 through the X does have an NFC reader, but it doesn't work for functions like this. Open up the Shortcuts app, and you'll see a menu at the bottom of the screen with three different options. Tap Automation, and then at the upper right hand corner, tap the plus symbol. From here, you'll have two different options. Hit create personal automation. Scroll to the bottom of the page and you will see NFC. Tap NFC, below NFC on the next page, tap NFC tag scan. Then take your NFC tag and put it behind the phone at the top. At this point, it will scan pretty quickly and it will ask you to name it something. Now, in this case, we want to name it Frunk 2. I already have one for Frunk, so for this video, I'm going to call this one Frunk 2. You don't need to push Return, which I did here, but go ahead and push Done. Then you'll push Next, and you'll see an Add Action. That's what we're going to do. So you'll see if you keep scrolling all the different options that you have here. But for the purpose of this video, we're just going to go into Apps, and then we're going to go into the Stats app. Now, the Stats app has a lot of great different options in there as far as automation is concerned. And you'll see that if you keep scrolling up and down, and you'll see all the different names for them have Shasta. That's because that's the name of my car. So whatever you named your car, that's what it should be in there. So we're going to go into Opened Shasta Frunk. Make sure that the Show When Run is toggled off, which it will be, and tap Next. Then, where it says Ask Before Running, toggle that off and hit Don't Ask, then tap Done, and you should be done. Now you have an NFC tag that is scanned and ready to go. At this point, it's all a matter of how creative you can get with these tags. What functions do you want to perform and where do you plan on sticking them? Well, before you start brainstorming, it's important to first know the limitations. If you were to go online, say Amazon.com, for example, and you do a search for NFC chips, you are going to find a ton of them. And it can get confusing. So first and foremost, I am going to post a link to where I got these in the description below. Uh, and as far as I'm concerned, they seem to work just fine. I haven't had any problems with them. So I want to just mention the fact that these do not work on metal. 
So let me show you what I'm talking about. I have this one programmed for the frunk. So first I'm just gonna put it on the frunk here and I'm going to try to scan it. You might be able to see here it's white on white so it's gonna be maybe hard to see. But I am scanning right on top of it. I'm gonna hold it here for a little bit and you can see it's, I'm just gonna kind of scan around it. Doesn't seem to wanna work. But just to kind of show you that it does work, we're not on the metal surface now and I can just go ahead and put it back where I programmed it in. And sure enough, it works without any problems. Now, here's the thing. There are NFC chips that are called on metal NFC chips, and those actually do work on metal. But the problem with those are, is at least based on my research, is they don't work through metal. So for example, if this one was a on metal NFC chip, which it isn't, but if it was, I would wanna put it here. But again, it wouldn't work because I'd have to scan it from the other side and it would have to go through metal to scan it, so it wouldn't work. Now there is a plastic lip here on the front of the frunk right here, but the problem is it would have to scan through the metal lip here of the frunk, so that wouldn't work either. So it can get a little tricky when you're trying to place these, whether you have the on metal or just the regular ones like this one. But as far as the frunk is concerned, I have found a spot that works pretty well. So we just discovered that these regular NFC tags don't work on metal, with the exception of the on metal NFC tags. But again, as we mentioned, they don't work through metal. So the only way they would work on the car is if you have them on the outside of the car, and you of course don't want to do that. You don't have all these tags all over the car so you can do all these different tasks. But what I found for the frunk at least is a convenient spot for it. This is the non-metal surface right here. And this is actually where the tow ring goes, right? Or a tow hook. So you can open this up and on the back side of it, you stick one of these on and it actually works just fine. Take a look at this. <laughs> Now, if you've never taken this off before, let me show you how to do it because it can be tricky if you don't know what you're doing. At the top right, push in with both thumbs. It will push out a section in the bottom left section. Pull on that and it should snap out without any problems. To put the piece back in, be sure that the two bottom left tabs are lined up. Take the upper right portion, slide that in first, and then snap in the bottom left and you're good to go. Is this a big game changer? Well, I personally don't think so. It's just one more way to help make things a little bit more convenient. For example, since I use a juice box charger, I need to use a Tesla adapter. Now, rather than going into my phone and unlocking the charge port, I can just swipe my phone over the NFC tag and it will unlock it for me. The same tag will also open the charge port for me. I honestly don't know how much I'll use the tag for the frunk, but this is the closest alternative to a foot sensor, so I may end up using it more than I think. And it may be useful for those with an auto opening trunk, but if you have an auto opening and closing trunk, the foot sensor will probably be much more useful. That being said, I did find a spot next to the trunk button that seems to work without any problems. What are your plans and where do you plan on placing the NFC tags? Write it down in the comments section below. I'd love to hear your ideas. In the meantime, if you want to support this channel and found the information in this particular video helpful, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, click the subscribe button. Also, if you plan on buying a Tesla, be sure to click the link to my referral code when you decide to place an order to get free supercharging miles. Well, thank you all so much for watching. And until my next video, stay positively charged.